Hey there, this is just going to be a quick video about how to VIN unlock and bench test one of these GM nav units uh, touchscreen radio. This specific one is out of a 2005 Escalade. So what we have here is a computer power supply, kind of a lot of wiring. This is a little uh, switch assembly I got off of eBay and just have it wired up to this thing. So what we're going to see here when we go to turn this on is we get our Delphi screen and we see theft locked activated now uh, only real way around this you need to have a tech 2 fortunately I have one we wired up a uh, an OBD2 port so we're gonna turn this on kinda tough to see but we'll try to keep this together. So press enter to continue. We're gonna go to diagnostics, select our year. Uh, it really doesn't matter, this is an 05, so I guess we'll choose 05. Light duty truck. We'll choose Cadillac. I'm not sure what E is. C is a two wheel drive, K is a four by four. This is a two wheel drive, not that that matters. And then we're going to go to body. We have our navigation radio. This is a dual climate. OnStar stuff doesn't matter here. Oops. Digital radio doesn't matter here. So now we're just going to go down until we get to our navigation radio, which is here. We're going to go to special functions and we're going to go to VIN relearn. Now, so do you want to clear radio theft information? When we press begin clearing, uh, it's going to do kind of a special thing. Normally the way these work when you go to turn the vehicle on is the navigation unit or whatever radio you have in it, nav or not, communicates with the BCM of the vehicle and it's just comparing the VIN matched in the BCM compared to the VIN matched in the radio. If they match, it unlocks, everything's good. If they don't, you get this. This is taken out of the vehicle, so technically it doesn't match anything. We're going to hit begin clearing. So clearing in progress. So now you see it says cycle the ignition or press exit to quit. So if we don't cycle the ignition, this thing is unlocked. Cycling the ignition locks it into whatever VIN of a vehicle you choose. So if I leave this like this and just press exit to quit, which I will here, press exit, exit. So we're good there. We can put this away here and we'll notice this turns on. We're good to go. I don't have any speakers connected, but that's okay. So everything works. There's no nav disc, but that's okay. We have whatever bands that we want. Volume obviously doesn't work because there's no speakers. We can press display off. We can turn it off. We can turn it on. There we go. We're all good to go. So now the way that I've done this, once I disconnect power to this, which first we'll turn our tech two off. So tech two is off. We can disconnect power to this now. We'll let it power down, which is what we've done there. As we power it back up, which we'll do again here, let's see our Delphi screen. And the reason it's giving a Delphi instead of like a Cadillac logo, a GMC logo, or a Chevy logo, uh, is that there's no BCM. The BCM that has the VIN uh, tells it what logo to give at power up. So this one now is ready to be installed into another vehicle and when it's installed and the ignition is cycled, it will then be VIN locked to whatever vehicle it's in. So right now this thing's ready to go and it's just as easy as that.